Lots of player news this week, but where's the coach? Let's find out next. I'm Peter Brown, and you're watching Football Miami TV's Local News. Well, we postponed the news this week an extra day with the hopes of a big Inter-Miami announcement. But alas, no coach was announced. A couple of other MLS teams filled their coaching positions, but not us. We heard there was an announcement that was supposed to take place early this week, but it didn't happen. So who will it be? Will it be Solari, Gallardo, Vieira, or somebody we haven't even heard about? We should find out something in the next few days. Let's stay tuned. Something I've talked about a lot is having an experienced MLS goalkeeper to anchor this team. It's a young team. We need a guy with experience. Well, we could check that off with longtime New York Red Bull leader and captain Luis Robles. Robles is joining Inter Miami at the age of 35 with eight years of MLS, MLS experience plus a few years in Germany. He was awarded Goalkeeper of the Year in 2015, has 72 shutouts, a 1.29 goals against average, ranked sixth in the league history with 114 goalkeeper wins, and owns the MLS Ironman streak with 183 consecutive complete games. Whew, that's a heck of a record. You can't ask for much more than that for an expansion club, but it does get better. Several people have reached out to me over the last week saying how good of a person Robles is on and off the field. When you build a club, you want quality players and quality people. As good a player as Robles is, I've heard he is an even better person. Could we have our 2020 captain? Oh. And don't worry about his age because keepers can play well into their low 40s if healthy. So we should get at least a few good years out of him. Along with a strong starting keeper, you need a dependable backup. And we got that with John McCarthy. 27-year-old McCarthy comes to South Florida from eh, the Tampa Bay Rowdies. Never liked them. But he made 29 appearances with the Rowdies in the USL Championship. He has MLS, MLS experience with the Philadelphia Union with 21 appearances. With McCarthy, we have three goalkeepers plus the rights for a future prospect. We're set in the goal. More experience was added to the back line with the addition of a proven champion, AJ De La Garza. De La Garza won three championships with the LA Galaxy and spent the last three seasons with Houston Dynamo when they won the US Open Cup. De La Garza has had some trouble in recent years with injuries, having spent most of the 2018 season out with a torn ACL and a broken foot near the end of the 2019 campaign. When healthy, he's a solid right back that can add depth and experience to Miami. The question is, at 32, can he stay healthy? And is his game in decline? Good luck, AJ, and stay healthy. Stage two of the MLS re-entry draft happened Tuesday afternoon, with Inter Miami selecting nobody. Only two players were selected, Saad Abdul Salam by Cincinnati and Juan Agudelo by Toronto. Curious to see if Toronto can bring out the Agudelo of old. He was good, kind of falling off. Soccer insider Stephen Goff is reporting that Inter Miami has also acquired DC United's team administrator Francisco Tobar. Tobar has confirmed this move by updating his LinkedIn profile. Cisco was a former Miami Fusion equipment manager who is heading back to South Florida after 17 years with DC United. Cisco is beloved in DC and is a welcome addition to the Herons. Finally, in this week's news, Miami Herald's Michelle Kaufman is reporting that the two remaining DP slots will be filled by the end of the month. I'm not getting excited for that until we hear an official announcement. We've been down this road time and time again. But one rumor is that another Argentine could be headed to South Florida from River Plate. AS reports that 
Midfielder Ignacio Fernandez is being offered one of the DP, splot, DP slots for Inter Miami. Is Nacho DP level that we expect here in Miami? Or is he more likely a TAM level player? What are your thoughts on Nacho Fernandez? And if you're not excited about Nacho, how about his teammate Ezekiel Palacios? We spoke about Palacio a few months ago when he apparently turned down a deal from Miami. Rumors coming out of Argentina are saying that Miami has submitted a formal offer for $23 million that may convince Palacios to choose Miami over Bayern Leverkusen. This is a player that I can get excited about. He can have a couple of good years in South Florida and then get sold off to Europe for a profit. That's a win. Remember, take all these rumors with a grain of salt. Maybe more than that, maybe a pound of salt. Well, that's it for this week. Make sure to join us 7 p.m. on Sunday for FMTV Weekly, a live show that you can participate in. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you right here next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.